everyone, it's Lisa. Thanks for joining me today. Today I want to share with you a fun crafty haul from scrapbook.com and Amazon. I also, towards the end of this haul, I wanna share with you some fun happy mail that I did receive. So let's go ahead and get started. So first I'm gonna start with my Amazon order because it was very small. I did order these. It's cut cardstock. It's actual A2 size folded card bases and it's 250 of them. Look at this pack, you guys. But look how easy this is. When I'm making a whole bunch of cards, these are so easy to pull out and then build the car card off of here. So these are from Amazon. They are 80 pound and they are white and it's 250. I will link this below in case you're interested. I previously purchased a pack much smaller than this. So I'll see if I can find that because you might not need 250 count. I think there are, is some out there that are smaller counts. So I will link that below. I also have a scrapbook.com order and I picked up this magical birthday. So this is the Echo Park Paper Company and it's the Magical Birthday Girl Collection. And it has all of these really pretty colors. There's pinks and blacks and teals. And then there's the craft color and they are just so pretty. So, so I wanna go ahead and go through this paper pad and just show you what this looks like. Look how fun these patterns are. So you can see all these little sentiments. You can actually fussy cut these and use these on cards. Let your magical birthday start now to the birthday girl, hooray make a wish. I love to make birthday cards, so this is going to be perfect. Everybody say cheers. It's your birthday to the birthday girl. Again, same sentiments. These you can cut apart and make into some square shaped sentiments. Look at these fun patterns. That's really pretty. It has a bunch of the same words on there just as a full sheet of pattern paper. There's some stars and there's also these small tags. These tags are a little bit too small for cards. You can probably use them, but I don't know that I would use them. I'll probably, maybe I'll just use the back side, although the back side is pretty plain. I don't know, we'll have to see when I do my um, video, when I do my card video on this one. But look how pretty these designs are. This is pink stars, the stars are pretty small. And then here are some clouds with balloons. There's a craft with white polka dots, and then we have some more balloons. And then we have some larger um, cut aparts. Birthday magic starts here, wish upon a star, best day ever, blow out the candles, wish away, you are the superstar of the day. Oh, that's a pretty plaid. So you, look, so you can see how pretty these papers are. That has musical notes on it. That has the castle. So I guess it's kind of Disney themed in a way, but geared toward a girl, but not really. I think this castle is probably the most Disney that I really see on here. And then there's some fireworks. So this is a teal with some fireworks. And then it looks like it starts back over at the beginning. So you get 24 double-sided papers in the six by six pad. So I'm really excited to work with that. And I also picked up the 12 by 12 element stickers because when I make cards, I like to put some other decorations than just sentiments on there. So I really liked it because it did have some other stickers that you can use for your front of your cards. There's also some sentiments. You can see the balloons and the presents. That's a really pretty banner that says birthday with the flags. So I'm excited to use that. And then I also picked up the matching solids. So these are 12 by 12 papers and there are six 12 by 12 double-sided papers in the colors that you see here. So those coordinate with that collection. And so here are all the ephemera pieces. There are 33 pieces all together. So you can see that these are pretty large sentiments to the birthday girl, happy birthday, make a wish. And then there's some smaller ones here. There's also a few banners. So there's a couple banners. Here's some small ones, eat cake. May all your wishes come true. So you can see all what you get with this collection. And I wanna say that there is a Magical Birthday Boy collection by Echo Park and it has some reds and blues and yellows and blacks in it, which I did not pick that one up, but I will link it below in case you're interested. 
So I will be making a bunch of cards and doing a process video, so stay tuned for that. I also picked up the Doodle Bug. It's the brand new Made With Love collection, which we're gonna get to that in just a moment, but really quick before we do, I do wanna show you these sequins that I bought, which these are sequin mixes from scrapbook.com, and I'm gonna be using them for shaker cards, and I think they're really pretty. I wanted to add more shaker bits to my collection, so I decided to pick some of these up. This one is really, really pretty. This one, let me see, this is Sparklets. This must be from Buttons Galore. Yes, it is. This is Pink Flamingo, and there's flowers and some pink and some clear, and then there's these large flamingo pieces. I don't know if you can see that. I don't wanna open this too much because all of these will come out. Let me see if I can grab one of these. I don't wanna make a big mess but you can see there's an example. It has a couple of these big flamingo pieces in it, which are really, really pretty. So I love that. So I also picked up these pink sequins. There's a variety of different color pinks in here. There's also some hearts. This is also by Buttons Galore. And this is Think Pink, and I will link that below. I also have the Hero Arts. This is like, it looks almost like pink and maybe blue, I guess it could be a purple. I really can't tell with this lighting. But there's some flowers and then just some regular sequin mixes in there. And then I picked up these. This is Pegasus and this has various light teals. There's some stars, there's some purples. This reminds me of cotton candy colors. So that's why I picked it up because my daughter loves cotton candy. So I thought of her when I grabbed this. Picked I also picked up another one of these embellishment storage containers, which I previously had on a haul on my channel, these that I had picked up. So I needed another set. I loved these so much. And basically these are a set of three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve 12 jars that fit in this case that you can put your sequins in. So once I open these, I won't be able to keep them in this pack any longer and they'll go right in here. And if you're interested in seeing these a little bit more close up, I'm gonna link a video down below. It's another haul video where I show these a little bit better. There's also some smaller ones that are probably about half the size that I picked up that I show in that other video. Okay, moving on. I wanna show you this collection by Doodlebug because this I was so excited to get. I've been waiting and waiting for this to come in stock and it was just released. This is the Made With Love 24 double-sided cardstock sheets. Well, it's pattern paper. So you can see it's all about baking. So you can see there's aprons, there's an oven, there's a mixer, there's some sprinkles, cookies, there's a cherry pie, it looks like, some cupcakes. It is so cute. So here's a pattern, I don't know if you can see it that well, which is forks and spoons. So it's more like a gray and white pattern. And then you have these really pretty hearts. Here's some pinks. This is pinks with some hearts. And this is a hot pink that says love you all across it in case you can't see that one very well. And then this is a mixer in various colors. Then we have polka dots. Okay, and then we have some different, looks like just some journaling cards. My sweetest memory, there's some flowers, so you can write notes, there's a small recipe card. So here is a teal, there's some mixers on here and some pies and some bread. More polka dots and then here's some tags, those are super cute. And then there's some more tags on the back side. That's just the back of those. So if you cut these tags perfectly, you'll be able to have a white sheet with a little bit of decoration there on the top. So you can see what that looks like. And then we have cookies. Here are some, looks like, looks like Hershey Kisses. And then there's flowers. And here are some borders. Oh, those are cute. There's some cupcakes and forks and cookies and some canisters, milk and cookies, eggs. Oh my gosh, these are so cute that you can use those as borders on your cards. That would be awesome. Look how pretty this pad is. I cannot wait to use this. And here's some cut aparts. Oh, those are really pretty. You're the sweetest. I have only pies for you. You're one smart cookie. Hey, cupcake. We are excellent together. We go together like milk and cookies. You're the greatest. There's a greater, isn't that adorable? I love you a cocoa lot. You sprinkle the world with happiness. I love you beyond measure and you bake me happy. 
All you need is love. So those would be great for the front of cards. And then it continues with another pattern of each one. So again, 24 double-sided sheets. I also picked up the sprinkles. These are heart-shaped sprinkles in the color palette. And then these are just shaped sprinkles. And then these are super cute. These are shaped sprinkles, but look, they're cookies. And this one actually has a bite taken out of it. There's hearts, there's a pink cookie. Oh my gosh, I can, these are so cute. It's like, I don't even think I even wanna touch these. I just wanna look at them because they're so adorable. So then I picked up the chit chat as well as the odds and ends. And before I get to that, I do want to just show you, I also picked up the 12 by 12 paper pack in the assorted colors of the collection. So all the colors that are in the collection, these are solids that I'll be able to use on my cards. So before I get into those odds and ends, uh, this was free with my order. It's just a scrapbook.com all-purpose craft scraper. So that was free. Sometimes scrapbook.com has those free with purchase things. You just gotta look out for them. They're usually on the front of their website and you just have to add the code to your shopping cart upon checkout. Okay, so here is part of them. I couldn't fit them all on camera. So I'm gonna show you part of them here in this shot. And I wanna mention that the odds and ends has 161 pieces. So you can see how big a lot of these pieces are and how just so stinking cute they are. Look at these cupcakes and these cookies. Look at this cookie sheet with the cookies on it and the sprinkles. And look at this blender, oh my gosh. They are so adorable. I can't wait to work with this collection. Well, here's the rest of the odds and ends. Oh my gosh, there are so many fun things. Look at this refrigerator. Look how adorable that is. And there's a cutting board, there's a cookbook, teapot. Oh my gosh, measuring cups. And then I wanted to show you these because I didn't have room on the screen. Here's a grocery bag with some groceries in it. Here is an oven, and then look at this. Isn't that adorable? So here is the chit chat pack from the Made With Love collection by Doodlebug. So you can see that there's a lot of sentiments in this collection. So we have hello, sprinkle, sweet, chocolate, happy, cupcake. And then look at all these little banners. You take the cake, you're extra special, perfect blend, you warm my heart. Happy birthday, you bake me so, you're flipping awesome. Wishing you a happy birthday, you're sweet. Hugs and kisses, and look how cute these are. These are little postage stamps. And then we've got Hello Sugar, there's Baked, and look, these are so cute. You're the sweetest, there's a cookie inside that one, especially for you, that one has a flower in it. There's some other ones, here's a You're So Sweet with a cupcake, made with love, and there's a chocolate morsel. So these are super cute. There's so many to choose from. So I'll be making a card process video with this collection as well. So once again, be sure you subscribe to my channel so that you'll be notified when that video comes out. I also wanna show you, I picked up this double-sided adhesive roll from scrapbook.com and this is two inches thick. I usually use Scorpal tape. I've never actually used scrapbook.com's double-sided adhesive, so I'm curious to check this out. I also picked up this 12 by 12 album. Look how pretty this is. It has these beautiful gold polka dots on the cover and on the side. And I just wanna show you that the side of this, if you can see, it does have a spot here where you can actually write whatever the contents are in this album. These albums do come blank. They have a three ring binder. I've never used one of scrapbook.com's albums but I'm excited to try it. And I did pick up the pages that go in size. So I picked up a few packs for this. I have a bunch of pictures that I just need to get organized. I don't do much scrapbooking, but I do love photos and I love to take pictures of my family and I have lots of pictures that I need to organize. So I was really excited to pick this up and I will link this below in case any of you do scrapbooking or if you just need photos like me that you need to organize, this is really pretty. And they also come in different sizes. So this is a 12 by 12 and they have smaller sizes as well. I also wanna share with you some happy mail that I received and ladies, I am so sorry that this is late because I just got this out of my P.O. box a few days ago and my mail was forwarded because I had a change of address and it was forwarded to my P.O. box and 
oh lord it took forever for me to get it i think these were dated back mid-december when i'm looking at the envelopes but they didn't actually get to me until a few days ago so i'm really sorry about the lateness of this but i want to share these because they're so pretty and i want to thank you ladies for sending these to me so these two are from karen smith and she sent me a christmas card look how cute this is this is the polar bear set from the stamps of life and he has this cute little scarf that she die cut out of pattern paper. She actually, all of this is die cut. There's no stamps on here. So she has the die cut polar bear and she did some paper piecing and his cute little hat. And then he has a present in his hand. Isn't that adorable? And then she sent me for my birthday. She sent me two cards. It was so sweet. She sent me a, this birthday card. Um, this is from the Cupcake Folded from the Stamps of Life, and it has some pattern paper here, birthday wishes. So thank you, Karen, for that. I really appreciate that. And then this beautiful card is from Dawn Young. So Dawn, thank you so much for sending this to me. This is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this poinsettia with the pine cones. This I was actually a set, and I don't know if it's still on there, on HSN, that the Stamps of Life sells it's a product from the stamps of life and it was sold on hsn not on their website and she used one of the background dies from the stamps of life for this background and that's really pretty and she pieced in some gold paper and has the merry christmas down here at the bottom she did looks like some embossing there and that is gorgeous so thank you ladies so much for these cards i really appreciate it and one quick announcement before i say goodbye i do want to mention that I am now selling my cards, well, not all of my cards, but some of my cards on Etsy. So I figured I'd give it a try. My husband keeps pushing me, Lisa, why don't you try and sell your cards on Etsy and just see what happens? So I said, okay, I'll just see what happens. I'll post a few on there and just see what happens. So I am figure I'm gonna give it a try and we'll see. So I, I started about a week ago and it is Lisa Mears Card Designs, no spaces. So just like the YouTube channel name, but there are no spaces on the title in Etsy. So if you do a search and I will also link it down below. So take a look if you wanna take a look and um, I don't know, I guess I'll keep you posted and let you know how it goes. I know there were some people that reached out to me and said, hey, I thought about doing the same thing. Give it a shot, you guys. There are so many people that sell handmade cards on Etsy. And you know, you can always start by just sending, you know, a, a notification out to your family and friends and say, hey, check me out. Because those are the people I think that are gonna buy from you first, are your family and friends. But Try it, see what happens if you have always thought about doing that. And if there's anybody out there that's watching this that actually sells cards on Etsy, leave me a comment down below and let me know. And then, you know, just let me know what your experience has been, good or bad, anything you want to relay to me. And then hopefully others that might be thinking about the same thing, maybe they can look at those comments and it would be helpful for them too. But if you don't sell on Etsy, maybe you do sell your cards somewhere else let us know that as well and how you do with that so thanks so much for watching be sure to subscribe for more card making tutorials make sure you click that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so that you can be notified when i release those echo park and doodlebug videos have a great day everyone bye bye